Hi, my name is Syra Lombardia. Uh, I'm a visual artist living at work and working at Syracuse, New York. I'm interested like in everything that uh, sometimes it's not like taking a photograph or building an image, you know, it's, uh, I do not work with that. Um, for me, it's more important trying to understand the dynamics on the flow behind, you know. Photography is something very ideological, so try to understand how photography set a meaning, how photography had an impact in our lives, how other people use photography to conduct ideas. That's the kind of things that uh, truly worries me and, and concerns me. For example, during the 70s, uh, during postmodernism, many people was trying to define photography through language, through semiotics specifically, try to give like a linguistic approach to photography. Uh, and in a sense, that means like trying to domesticate photography through language. So I feel like nowadays the context is very different. Photography is more related to data. I think, for example, it's very interesting how Roland Barthes, the French philosopher, defined photography as a message without the code because um, it was not like a language that for sure it sent a message. I feel like nowadays we are living the opposite. I feel like photography is a code without the message. And it's a code because photography right now, um, it, it has that data behind. Everything is about data. Uh, so when we are sharing photographs in the internet, somebody else is getting metadata from there. So people share images because they still have some ideas attached to photography related to former decades, like memory, like um, documenting reality, like truth. So those things are still there, but in fact, like the important thing right now is everything about data, you know? So I feel like that's a big change and trying to understand that evolution or, or which are the implications in that uh, for me, something very interesting. Yeah, I, I remember that. I, well, like uh, my education was as a photographer, so um, everything I knew about photography was related to film photography. I went into the dark room. I used rolls, you know. I everything was uh, related to film photography, and suddenly digital photography. Um, jump in and was so different. We have to think about sometimes when I feel like very comfortable and very, it, it's something very common for us having a smartphone, use social media, you know, but we have, have to think about like Facebook, I think it went out like in 2006. Uh, smartphones were, were like released in 2007, you know, and I think the first time I see it, so an, an, an iPhone was like 2009. And uh, Instagram was 2010, so at the end, like all this um, atmosphere and this photographic environment we are living at, it only have a decade. So at that point, uh, I feel absolutely overwhelmed. I was thinking myself, uh, because at that moment I was taking photographs, like, which is the point of taking more photographs? And, throwing more images into this hyper-visual world, which is my responsibility as a visual artist in, in, in this specific photographic environment. So, as I said, I feel overwhelmed. I need time to reflect on it because I'm a very reflective person. And I decided to uh, do not dis distribute any kind of image in my website as a kind of symbolic strike during a thousand days. That means during three years. The visual strike uh, was uh, part of Joan von Cuberta, the Fury of the Image book. And it took off, you know, it became like many people knew about it. So that also is very ironical, you know, because it's something done in the website and become known through a book, which I love. Suddenly, something that was supposed to be like the end of my career became something important, you know, and everything, as I said, was very like ironically. So uh, yeah, and it let me understand better what I want to do with my, my own production. I think
think they were pioneers of appropriation. All my work is related to appropriate image. I do not take um, images anymore. I think maybe the context is a little bit different right now than from the 70s because right now, uh, as I said, we live in hyper-visual world, so there is also a layer related to visual ecology. You know, I feel like I'm a visual ecologist. I want to do something sustainable. That's why one of the reasons I do not produce more images and I only work with images that are already there and many of them are public domain. Many people have like concerns about appropriation even nowadays. Uh, but there are tons of images that nobody take care of them, you know. So re-signify those images, like putting out there again, try to find meanings that links different type of images and try to connect those images in clusters, groups, and try to uh, work with them like uh, through iconography, you know, I think it's one of the most interesting things to do right now. And for sure, that's something that came from, from the uh, influence from this artist. Um, I think that um, nowadays, uh, more than a female gaze, it's not about looking anymore, it's not about staring anymore, it's not about contemplation anymore, it's more about jump to action. I probably will define uh, the female gaze as, as a call to action and, and the time is right now, so, so we have to be ready.